Hello honeys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ashley here and in today's video we are going to be doing a hair tool review. I'm going to actually be doing something super exciting to my hair, which I'm over in the moon about. I'm hoping that this like turns out good. Um, anyways, we're gonna get right on into it. Obviously, if you are new here, definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. So the hair tool that we're gonna, I'm going to be reviewing today is this Bedhead Wave Artist um, Hair Waver. I have seen a lot of YouTube videos of this particular hair waver. Um, I'm super excited to use it. I'm a little nervous because I'm a bit of a accident prone person when it comes to like hair hair tools. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it looks. Um, I have super thin flat hair um, and it's wavy. So this is. It naturally like it literally doesn't do anything at the top of my head so I'm hoping I can get a little bit of volume from this hair tool I got a few tips from my best friend Molly because um, she has one of these uh, she has the purple one um, and it looks stunning on her when she uses that hair tool I'm like hey, you look so good um, so I just want the same effect <laughs> um, so she told me to use some dry shampoo a little bit more something to grip onto I have incredibly oily hair like in general um, I have a tendency to wash my hair every day I'm trying to lean more away from that <laughs> um, I have a tendency to lean a little bit further away from that now uh, this is like two three day old hair and it looks great so um, that being said, I also have some texture spray um, that I picked up a while, a few weeks ago. Um, this is I from IGK. This is their Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I do not like mousse products. I don't know why, but like they just do not work for my hair type. I don't like them. They make me feel a little bit more oily. This is great. It isn't an aerosol can. It smells delicious. It smells like you just left the hair salon, so it's great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair out. Um, so this is what it looks like, just down natural. Um, I like my natural hair. It is super pretty on the bottom half, but now I actually have like a little bit of volume. I've been using this Joico um, volumizing shampoo. It's like a grain bottle, but in it. Seems to be doing pretty well, actually. Like, this is probably the best my hair's looked in weeks. Um, I normally have it up in a bun or in a pony, like you just saw. But, this is what it looks like. It's down to my uh, belly button. <laughs> so it's super long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And it does have, like, a hold feature, so I don't know if you guys can tell. So, there's a locking feature. So, if you wanna, like, store it. Um, I did purchase some hair protectant as well because I've heard obviously this can be super damaging to the hair and I've been working real hard to make my hair healthy. So I picked up this Not Your Mother's Naturals um, Leave-In Conditioner. It's Repair and Protect. Um, it had really great reviews on Target, Target's website so I just went ahead and got it. Um, it is the Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon. So it's so pretty. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my dry shampoo and my heat protectant and we're just gonna go from there I also have a brush handy because uh, this hair can get real unruly real fast so I am going to it seems like a lot of product comes out I almost went um, with the chi <laughs> Um, heat protectant because I used to buy that all the time when I used to straighten my hair all the time. Um, I haven't straightened my hair in like a long time, but I used to do it all the time. It was like really bad for my hair. Um, obviously, I have color treated hair, so a little bit of compromised hair. Um, I'm in the process of going back to my natural color, so this is like a the most natural ombre. If you guys see my old, old videos, I have like super blonde hair. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna do like a half up, half down kind of action. I should have gotten some clips while I was at Target, but I didn't. So I'm just going to make my hair look a little crazy. Um. 
I was told to use it on the, like all the videos that I watched told me to use it on the lowest setting, on um, the lowest heat setting, just because it does get incredibly hot, um, or in right in the middle where you get a little bit of extra heat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it, I'm a little scared. Um, these are the size pieces that I'm gonna try using. Um, I've heard that the smaller the pieces, the tighter the, cr um, tighter the wave, but I really just want some like natural looking waves, so I'm gonna try this out. And I'm gonna try to get as close to the root as possible. So that is what it looks like so far. I don't know. I don't mind that. That's actually really pretty. I am gonna see if I can't. Um, actually, I really love that. That's so nice. Look at that. Like the wave. Um, like I said, I want something supernatural, but I also want a lot of volume. So we're gonna see if we can get the tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom you guys through it, and we're gonna see what it looks like on half my head. This thing does get hot, like very hot. I mean, if, yeah, you, you would have to be like super careful with this thing, but it does beautiful waves, truly. Look this, this is pretty. It's like little mermaid hair. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna do a smaller piece. Okay, so. I actually like it better when it is a smaller piece because look how big and voluminous, voluminous that is. It's pretty. Um, I say we go for like the smaller pieces because that's really, really pretty. And I like how bouncy that is on the top of the root, so. I will say, this thing smokes a lot. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Um, it smokes. Like this thing is crazy, like it gets crazy warm and I'm on the lowest setting. So I would say if you have extremely brittle hair, probably wouldn't go with this. Be right back and I'm gonna show you guys what my whole bottom half looks like. So this is what it looks like all done on the bottom half. Um, I really like it. It's very subtle, wavy. It is mermaid hair, for sure. It is a lot faster than it would have been curling it. Um, and the more that you learn like how to hold it and stuff, the easier it gets. So I will say that. It does have a learning curve. It'll take you a second and it does look a little crazy starting out. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. Only ever have to do it in four sections or two sections really. So, because I, I don't really have a lot of hair, I have length. I don't really have that hair. So, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush through it again because it did get a little matted. What was up there in that bun? So far, I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> get tell me nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I I am in love, honey. Oh my god. And that's just that front piece, man. I'm just like Who are you? Bitch, look how much more like 
umph is here and I didn't even put in the texture spray yet. Like this is beautiful. Guys, I am living for this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I mean, who is she? I literally have not worn makeup in like two and a half, three months. Like, okay. Now I'm gonna go and do the sad side. Look at the difference. So this is with the hair waver. This is with my natural hair. I am so happy, oh my God, guys. So I'm gonna go and finish this side. I will come back, okay? Oh, you're back. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I am, girls like, what? I am so obsessed. This is so freaking pretty. I don't even have words. I'm gonna go ahead and put some texture spray. Um, like I said, this is the IGK um, Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I will have everything linked down below, what I used, um, where you can find this bad boy. Um, and I'm gonna go through my final thoughts on it because it looks so good. Because I did put some heat on it, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use um, my OGX um, Hydrate and Marula Oil. It's a serum elixir. Um, it's just basically like a hydrating oil. Um, it's okay. I probably won't buy it again. The only reason I'm using it is because it's what I have, so, and I really need to hydrate the end. My hair is like so pretty. It's like, it's just genuine mermaid hair. And it's gorgeous, it gives you good volume because I didn't have any. Um, and for the price point, you can't beat it. Um, for $30, it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It does get really warm. It's taking a while to obviously cool down. And also, I noticed that when I got to this side of my hair, the iron was actually hot enough, so it was actually taking, it was going really quickly, but uh, versus like this side where it took a while to actually like do each. Um, piece each strand so I would say let it warm up for a little bit so I absolutely love how this turned out let me know what you guys think let me know if you've used it before if you have the same kind of texture of hair that I do because I want to know like I I love seeing the difference I think this like works for every type of hair every length like this is a beautiful like beautiful outcome like yay this is so good um that being said I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here this gets a thumbs up from me. I will definitely be using it. It was well worth the $30. If you guys love this video, if you do love this video and you love the outcome, I will obviously leave all the links down below and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye.